Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to implement a side nav in Angular 18 using Angular Material. If you click on the hamburger icon, the side nav gets closed. The side nav has list of items with icons and when you navigate, you can see the routes changing. So without further delay, let's get started. In Visual Studio, go to Terminal, New Terminal and type the command Engine New and the name of the application. Here I have given Angular Side Map. Select CSS. I have just given Yes. Let's wait until the command completes. Once it is done, let's go to the project folder by giving the command CD Angular Side Map. Next, let's give the command ng add at the rate angular material in order to install angular material. Just give yes. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Selected indigo pink theme. Yes. Once the import is complete, let's run our application by giving the command ng serve. Our app is up and running. Ok, now go to app.component.html file and delete the existing code. We'll import the required angular material modules into app.component.ts. First, we need material toolbar for the app bar on the top. So for that, import something from angular material toolbar. And in the import array, if you give mat toolbar module, it automatically adds up there. Next, we will import material side nav for our side nav. In the imports array, give match sitenav model. Then import material icon. In the imports array, give mat icon model. After that, material list to wrap our navigation items nicely. Mat list module in the imports array. Lastly, material button for the menu icon button. Mat button module in the import array. After importing all the required Angular material components, we can start building the template by editing the app.component.html file. Let's add the mat toolbar here. We are getting the toolbar in the browser. Within that, give mat toolbar row. And inside that, let's create h1 tag. Just give angular material side nav. In Mac toolbar, I'll give the color as accent, which has inbuilt CSS from Indigo Pink. Next, let's add the side navigation. Give Mac side nav container. Within that, we'll give Mac side nav for sidebar and Mac side nav content for the content.
Inside the mat site nav component, I am creating a mat nav list. And in the anchor tag, I am adding the mat list item property. Just name it home. I'll add one more link as partners. In mat site nav content, we need to add router outlet because this will contain our routes or pages. Next, let's add few CSS for mat site nav container. I'll give height as 89VH. And for mat site nav content, I'll give padding as 20px. Then for the mat side nav, add property open. At this stage, our Angular application appears like this. But you can see that there is a backdrop and it closes if we click anywhere outside. To solve that, we'll add mode is equals to side in the mat side nav. It looks fine now. Let us give some width to side nav. Style dot width is equals to 200 px. Next, let's add the hamburger icon on the toolbar for toggling of side nav. Within mat toolbar row, let's give button element and add the property mat icon button. Inside that, we'll give mat icon, which will be menu. You can see the hamburger icon. Now add template reference variable hashtag side nav to mat side nav and add click functionality on the button. So click is equals to side nav which is the reference variable dot toggle. Now site nav works fine but I want to render the list of menu items dynamically. Let's go to app.component.html file. I'll come in these lines and in app.component.ts file we'll create an array menu items. This array will contain multiple objects each of which has three properties. Icon will give us home. Label which will be the text for the menu item home and the route which is the path associated with the menu item home similarly quickly we will create other items partners training event support. Go to app.component.html file and within mat nav list give at the rate 4 which is used in angular 18 in the bracket item of menu items then track dollar index which tracks the index of the current iteration. Within the curly braces we'll add the anchor tag and give the property mat list item. Within that we'll give mat icon and the property mat list item icon within that interpolation item dot icon after that create a span inside the span interpolation item dot label for displaying the text of each item in the menu now we can see the list of items along with the icons next we will be adding the routes to our application let's go to app route.ts file before angular 17 we had routing module.ts but now we have this in order to implement routing first let's create components give the command ng generate component we will put inside pages folder first one will be home then Partners, Training, Events and lastly Support. There are 5 pages. Then again run the application by giving the command ng serve. 
Now in app route.ts file, we'll add the first route. Path will be empty. Path match strategy will be full. And redirect to will be home. Then home route path will be home. We need to specify the component. It will be coming from here. So component, home component, imports will be added on the top. Likewise, let's add rest of the routes. After this, go to app.component.es file and add router module to the imports array. In the final step, go to app.component.html file and the anchor tag give router link is equals to item.route. So clicking on each item would navigate to the associated route. Let's check in the browser. Why it is not working? Let's check. Okay, I had not saved the app route.ts file. Let's save this. Now it works fine. I'll quickly convert this p tag to h1 tag for better visual. Looking better now. Everything looks fine. Oh, the event route is not working. Let's check again why. So I've given the route value and path value different, but it should be same. Great, now it's working absolutely fine. So guys, we have successfully completed the implementation. That's it for this tutorial. Please feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.